Alright guys, this is Matt Weisfeld coming at you with another quick video of how to take apart and change the viscosity of your arm lifter uh, with our trusty assistant, Matt. Say hi, Matt. Hi. Matt's like, I didn't think I was going to be on camera, but you are now. So guys, the first thing we're doing is uh, Matt is loosening the set screw. Now you're going to need a small Phillips for this because as you can see, it is a small set screw that goes on there or a small screw rather for it. Um, and then we are taking the arm off, which just screws off nice and easy. And then turning the top part reveals the piston. Uh, so revealing the piston, you can also see the spring. And then just turning the, uh, the piston armature on the side. You're then good to go with that. And Matt's just using a wrench to just turn the piston and pull it out. And there you have it revealed. Then from there, guys, you want to put it in a little thing of alcohol just to get it clean if you want to start fresh and get that going. So we have a, a nice little alcohol bin that we use when we start it. So if you want to go completely fresh, you want to put it in there. Shake, 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 shake. There we go. If you really want to go a little extra level there, you have your brush. Matt's having a little bit of a good time over here. It's like uh, the good old days back with bath time just, you know, with uh, alcohol instead. Um, and again, the alcohol is for cleaning purposes, uh, rubbing alcohol and whatnot. Um, you know, have no plans of drinking this uh, unless things just took a strange turn. Nonetheless, so far, guys, we've just cleaned off all the pieces. Uh, and again, we're doing this just so we can start at a zero point of no viscosity and no fluid on there. Um, and guys, this was meant to be a bit of an advantage that kind of uh, went down the forum rabbit hole of various things. So when we did this, we just set it initially at a speed that we felt was appropriate, where it went down slowly, but not too fast. Then it was too fast for some, so we, you know, we made it slower, then it was too slow for others, so then we changed it. And so when, when we ship it out factory settings, it is at a level that we believe is a tolerable or not tolerable, rather, an appropriate speed to drop down because you don't want this thing crashing down, especially when you're dealing with that, you know, $10,000 cartridge or whatnot. Now, for me, I personally just do it by hand, but then again, I've uh, queued up probably over a thousand records over the course of my life, so I'm very much used to it. So those who are maybe a little bit, you know, not so versed with it, having that viscosity, and right now what Matt's doing, uh, just to keep back with this, is he's just wiping off all the alcohol and everything so that it's completely clean. Um, so then once he has that, then he, uh, and again, if he were to put this together right now, there is no fluid in there, and it would probably just go right down without, um, you know, any delay at all. Um, so now what Matt's doing is he's putting um, the, that armature pack in, and he's going to take the piston and utilizing a little bit of fluid over here. That's it. Whoa, there it is. And he's just going to put a little bit right over there on there and uh, that's it. So that's how you could add and remove the lubrication on the inside of the piston. So that's where it's going and going into and obviously if there's more it's going to be slower. If there's less um, then it's going to go down faster. Um, and as far as what the correct way is, realistically guys it comes down to you because when we have made it where it's really slow people have felt it's too slow and vice versa. Um, so either way though, being able to have that ability to lower it down, it's always a nice thing to be able to do, um, and that's what we try. Another thing to keep in mind guys, that again, it is a fluid, so when dealing with this, and also guys, um, there have been videos and things on there about different types of fluids to use. Uh, that's up to you if you want to try uh, different levels of viscosity and everything uh, to change the speed and whatnot. Um, and, and we did have a video. There was a video out there. I don't know what the heck happened to it, hence why we're making this one. And hopefully this will be enough to help you guys in adjusting and changing the arm lifter. Otherwise, you know, Matt's just going to have to keep doing more videos. Right, Matt? Yep. That's right. So he just put that on. He's putting it back in. He put the spring on the piston. And now he's re-screwing the top part of the cam just like that, make it nice and tight. And then he's going to, again, grab the uh, the top part. Um, well, you can grab either more first. So he's going to reattach the handle, it's just, which just screws right in, guys. So that's a screw in piece. So if you've pulled it out, then it's probably been sheared off, and that's not a good thing. Um, and then after doing that, again, he's gonna grab the armature over here. He kept the screw in there so he doesn't lose it, putting it back over there. And also, guys, notice that you can adjust the position of the armature by having that uh, Phillips set screw loosen and then moving the position of the arm lifter or the uh, armature 
and then tightening it back up. Uh, and again, I was starting to mention about how because of the viscosity, in the event that it's really cold and you find that your arm lifter is moving a little slow, just lift it up and down a little bit to, to warm it back up a little bit. So guys, this was a quick video on showcasing. Oh, there we go. Look at that, guys. And now our arm lifter has been put back together. So during the course of this video, we took this arm lifter apart. This is a quick review. Uh, we loosened the Phillips small set screw there. We loosened out the uh, the lifter over here. Uh, we did not put that in the in the alcohol. So we put the rest of the pieces in the little alcohol bath, and that was just to clean off all of the residue that was already there. So we could start from a baseline of zero, um, and then putting the lube on uh, to the piston portion, which was the brass piece. Um, and then that's guys where you could take off, you could put it on, you could do it any specific way. And we go for a setting that will go down slowly, but not super fast or slow. So that way it has a nice speed. N none is correct or uh, nothing is set as being the right way. It's really it was just right for, for you as far as the user, as far as the, the speed and everything. So guys, I hope this quick video helped you all out as far as uh, utilizing your arm le uh, ri lifter, uh, where you can raise and lower it, changing the speed. Uh, if it is broken, of course, you can always get a new one right from VPI or a local dealer that's nearby there. Uh, there were other versions uh, that as well. The earlier day VPIs were originally made um, by, well, pretty much Jelco back in the day. Um, and um, I, I guess we kind of saw the writing on the wall. We eventually uh, manufactured our own a couple of years back and we're in good shape now. And uh, there you go, guys. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. And, uh, you know, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe or whatever that you're all supposed to do in the YouTube world. And otherwise, see you all next time.